deadly crash involving a mega bus headed to Houston. And just within the last 15 minutes, we learned that a second person has now died as a result of the crash. Now, this mega bus was traveling from Dallas to Houston when the collision happened in New Waverly. When we last saw Brandon Walker, our reporter, at 5 o'clock, he was on his way to the scene, stuck in traffic caused by the crash. New at 6 o'clock, he has finally arrived at the crash site. Brandon? And Bill, we can tell you that Megabus has been taken from the scene. As you can see now, the southbound side of 45 remains closed. The northbound side has reopened. DPS still here working to piece together their investigation. Folks being diverted here along the feeder. Some of those viewers reaching out to us with video showing the minutes after that crash. Take a look. Channel 2 viewer Veronica sent us this video from the feeder just after being detoured. All told, four vehicles including a charter bus operated by the company Megabus, were involved in this crash this afternoon. Sky 2 now showing the aftermath. DPS confirming to Channel 2 the driver of a maroon SUV lost control while driving on the northbound side of 45 this afternoon, veering to the southbound side of the interstate. At that point, we are told he struck a silver vehicle. The driver of that vehicle was rushed by life flight to the hospital, but has since passed away, officials confirmed to us some minutes ago. As for the bus, there were 75 people on board, officials say, and they will be okay. A couple had to be taken to the hospital to be checked out. The fourth vehicle, its driver is okay, thank goodness. In fact, she spoke to us a few minutes ago. Left side of the road, and they say, you know, I saw it go airborne, and it hit the back of my car. It barely missed the driver's door. You know, I'm blessed to make it out of it. Yeah, that driver there confirming what investigators said happened. Again, a maroon-colored vehicle losing control on the northbound side of 45 this afternoon, veering into the southbound side of the highway, crashing into a vehicle, the driver of that vehicle that caused all of this dead. We also know now the driver of the car into which he crashed first has died. Investigators working uh, to figure out what caused that driver to lose control in the first place. As soon as we get more information on that part of the story, we'll be sure to let you know about it. But for now, we're live tonight from New Waverly along I-45. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Brandon.